Hello, brave people. I'm calling you brave because in today's turbulent times, appearing for CAT really calls for a lot of courage. And you people have successfully completed the ordeal on 25th of November 2018. So congratulations for that. Okay, because courage is a very exceptional thing. Today, in the next 10 to 12 minutes, we are going to talk about five things you need to do after CAT. Right? These five things are very important for your next two months to have any sort of effectivity because a lot of decisions have to be taken in the next two to three months. A lot of things need to be done by you, both procedural and philosophical. So the next two to three months are going to be very important. Over this next two to three months, these are the five things you need to do. The first, forget about it. CAT is over. CAT 2018 was over on 25th of, 25th of November 2018. Okay. But is it over in your head? If you are still wondering about second slot mein paper itna tough kyun aaya, mere percentile kya aayenge, mere score kya aayenge, for you CAT is not over. Remember, you need to ensure the CAT, that CAT is over in your head. That is the first thing that you need to do. Should you check your percentiles on training institutes? There is no yes and no answer to this. Depends on what type of a person you are. If you are a person who can soak up a lot of pressure and yet perform well, or pressure is a driving factor for you, then go ahead. Otherwise, don't go there. The reason is, if you study the various analysis on various websites, there would be at least five to seven questions on which different websites are gonna give you different answers. So your percentile according to this website will be different, will, that website would be different. So how will you determine? Okay, forget about it. Please remember, aapka cat kaisa hua? How was your cat? This question can be answered only after you receive the CAT percentiles and not before that. Your duty was to prepare and appear for the exams. Calculating your score is their duty. You did your duty, let them do their duty. Got the idea? Forget about it. It's over. The second thing that you need to do Focus on your GDPI preparation. Start from today, not tomorrow, not after that. Start as soon as you can. Building up knowledge, self-evaluation, and presenting the answers the way the interviewers would want to listen to them takes a lot of practice. Ensure some people are born with political correctness inside them. It's a different story, but most of us are not. Due to social media, we don't think twice before saying anything. Especially because of Twitter, which I believe promotes it and run. You need to work on your answers. Please remember that. So, start your GDPI preparation today. This is the course that we have for you. You can please go through the details of the course. The number is there at the bottom. If you are interested, don't hesitate to give us a call. We are located in Pune. Okay? The third thing, focus on other exams. CAT is over, yes, but a major exam is still remaining. ZAT, kuch loon ka CET ka bhi plan hoga. The more you think about CAT, the lesser would be your focus on these exams. So you need to focus on other exams. What do you need to do for that? Just two things. Number one, solve as many mock tests as you can. Number two, don't move to another mock test before analyzing the previous mock test completely. Solve the mock test, analyze. Solve the mock test, analyze. Solve the mock test, analyze. Let it continue in this cycle till that exam is actually done. Got the idea? Now with that going online, every exam is now an online or a computer based exam. Ensure that you are appearing for your mock tests also in the same format. Aisa nahi hona chahiye ki test online hai aur aap mock test paper based format mein appear kar rahe ho. You won't get a correct estimate. Please ensure this. Appear, analyze. Appear, analyze. Appear, analyze. Appear, analyze. Okay. The fourth thing, be aware. 
be aware. There are three things you need to be aware about. The first, your personality. What kind of a person are you? This will help you both in the PI as well as deciding on a specialization. You need to have a thorough grasp over yourself. Even if not thorough, a grasp which is more correct than wrong. And that comes with a lot of introspection in which we will help you. The first thing. Second thing, be aware about the external world around you. Kya kya chal raha hai? Kashmir mein kya chal raha hai? Sabarimala mein kya chal raha hai? Syria mein kya chal raha hai? Brexit mein kya chal raha hai? Sri Lanka mein kya chal raha hai? North East mein kya chal raha hai? Be aware of these things. And third, be aware of exams, institutes and deadlines. Don't miss a single deadline. You have put in a lot of effort for this. Carry it to its logical conclusion. Please remember, it's not over till you get your percentiles. It's not over just because you think you have messed up your cat. No, no, no. It's not over till you get your percentiles. Remember that. You have to keep fighting till then. Right? Don't miss a single deadline of any institution. The fifth and one of the very important things, ask the right questions. Ask the right questions. I'll give you two examples. Over the past 20 years of uh, my experience with CAT, students have come up to me and have asked, Sir, how many attempts do I have never understood that question. If there are 120 questions in the exam and I ask you to attempt all 120 and you are not able to solve more than 90, what do you propose to do? Guess your way around remaining 30? Consider the other situation. There are 120 questions in the exam. I ask you to solve only 80. And you are able to solve 100. What are you going to do? Leave those 20 just because I said so? I don't think so. So this question has no relevance. Remember, it's relative. You can solve as many questions as you can solve. You can attempt only those number of questions which you can solve. Questions attempted at question solved should not be a different figure unless it's CET where there is no negative marking. In that case, attempt everything. Got the idea? The second question which I have never able to understood is institute kaisa hai? Mera sawal yota hai ki aap kaise ho? Because cat me ek cheez boli jati hai. Every person gets the institute he or she deserves. Now the deserving comes from what you have done in 10th and 12th and graduation. That, that's a different story altogether. Okay, but the criteria are there. Okay, that's the first problem with that question. The second problem, I always believed, let the institute decide upon you first and you decide upon the institute after that. Don't do it the other way around. Call aate hi ye mat pushna institute kaisa hai. Call aane ke baad pehla apna pura effort daliye that you convert the GDPI of that institute. After that we'll see. Okay, if you ask me, these are the top 15 institutions in India. Okay, if you get a final admission offer from anywhere, go blindly, irrespective of what you're doing. If you get an offer from anyone, any institute other than these 15, then you'll have to weigh your options. Two years of work experience in Ashok Leyland or Mahindra or two years of MBA in that institute, two years in Vipro Infosys or two years of MBA, where will you land up? You need to think about that carefully. But if you make it to any of these 15 institutions, go ahead. There is absolutely no problem. And these institutes are not in any order of ranking, remember. What the idea? The ranking that has been mentioned is just tentative. Okay? So these are the five things you need to have. Once again, I'll remind you about our GDPI program. There are a lot of general knowledge sessions, one-to-one -one interview strategy sessions, mock interview sessions, WAC sessions, GDs, plus we'll also help you in filling up the form. What answers to write? When you get calls from the IAMs, etc., they send you a detailed essay-based form, right? What to write in that? How to structure your answers? How to defend them in the personal interview? We'll be training you on all these aspects, okay? So please, so these are the details of the program. Contact us and please remember, please take very good care of yourselves. CAT only tests 
whether you have the aptitude for becoming a manager. CAT does not test whether you are a good person or a bad person. Always remember that. Take very good care of yourselves and all the best.